Hi guys, this is uh, Rob. Back again, been a while since I've done a video. I just wanted to quickly get one done. Won't be a very long one because I'm feeling pretty average actually. I've got a, um, I've got a really sore tooth. I've got to go to the dentist in about half an hour. And I've got sinus headache. I don't know what's going on there. I've got flu symptoms. I think I might have the coronavirus. So if I don't show up again, um, that's probably why. Uh, what do I want to talk about today? I'll do a wrist check. I've got my new Ming on. Because I've, I've been wearing it a couple of days, I got it yesterday, the day before yesterday. I talked about it on the podcast, Fifth Risk Radio Podcast. Look it up if you haven't already. It's much more interesting than these YouTube videos because it doesn't have my ugly noggin. And um, we got a bit carried away on the first one, to be honest. Um, but it's a cool podcast. This is a watch, Ming. They did 300 of these at 1706, I think. Um, I'm going to do a review on it on Fifth Wrist on the website, if no one beats me to it. Um, nice little watch, it's 38 millimeter, beautiful little dress watch size. Uh, my wife actually really likes it, so she's probably gonna steal it from me. It's, um, yeah, limited edition, really nice lugs, beautiful dial. I've been lusting after a, a salmon dial for a while. This is not a real salmon dial, it's more a coppery color, but it'll do the job until I can afford a real one, basically. Um, a nice watch, it's not all positive though, there's a few little things about it which I, I didn't like, but I'll, I'll cover that in my in my review, anyway. So that's what I'm wearing, out of the way. Um, oh, I'm really, a bit, I played squash yesterday too, I know, life of leisure, um, lunchtime, and I hadn't played for a while, and I'm getting old, too old for this stuff, I've got sores and aches, and um, so with that and these symptoms, I feel like I'm gonna die. Um, anyway, I'm still here. Uh, Look at those clocks. Two out of four clocks have stopped. That's brilliant. Good little idea that was. Um, all four clocks cost me a grand total of less than $10 from Ikea. So that's what you pay for, I guess. I need to take a couple of those back. Um, I've changed batteries, I've done everything, but they're just crap, they're made in China, what do you expect? Um, yeah, I mentioned the podcast. Go and look at that, fifthwrist.com.au maybe. A um, bunch of guys in Melbourne, I'm sort of going to be um, co-hosting that for, for a certain segment of the Fifth Wrist Radio. And it's the first one was a couple of hours. It's pretty boring, um, but people liked it. Uh, I talked mostly about what I've done in Switzerland and what I'm up to now. Um, and that was it. I'm running out of material. So I don't know what um, the watch regulator, his handle, Alex, um, the watch regulator, is going to ask me from now on. So it's just going to be random waffling, really, which is what I'm best at obviously. Um, I am going to Basel World. We've had rumors about Basel World being canceled. We know there's a, there's a few brands pulled out, notably Bulgari. Um, but don't underestimate the importance of Basel World for other brands, the brands that are still there, and retailers and journalists. It will still be a big show. If they, if they don't cancel it at the last minute, if they cancel it at the last minute, I don't know what they'll do. It might be the final nail in the coffin for the organizers. Um, hopefully they don't. If they do, I'll just have three weeks in Switzerland to run around and see watchmakers and people I know anyway. Um, and it might even be easier. That'd be kind of nice. But uh, at the moment, as it stands, um, I'll be going to Basel World, possibly Watches and Wonders or whatever they call um, SIHH now, if I can get an invite, if I can be bothered. Um, Basel is still more important uh, in a way because there's a lot more people, different brands there and uh, people that I know, contacts will be there. So that's happening in April. We leave mid-April. We'll be over there. I might try and do a video from there, just for a laugh. If not, podcast anyway. Um, the Fifth Wrist team are quite keen for that. And that, that's about it. So it's nice and short. Well, we've got four minutes. Yeah, it's, it's different to my usual thing when I'm going too long. Um, I have a few um, criticisms, really, that people, and mostly young kids. Uh, there's a, some kids of a mate who said, oh, yeah, looked at my thing. They discovered I was doing YouTube videos because they're already that, apparently. Um, and they said, oh, you need to figure out your thumbnails and this and that. And, um, and I'm, I'm thinking, oh, and, and if, if they think that, and if you think that, um, you've got it all wrong. I, I don't really care. This is sort of a, a thing I've started just for a laugh. Um, if it helps my business, well and good. Um, but business is ticking along okay. Uh, it'll be always nice to have more business with my straps and, and little indie, indie brands I have. Check them out on genevablue.com.au. Um, but I'm not really worried about, I'm, not, I'm too old for this. I'm not, I'm not going to get professional 
YouTube videos. I might start using my mic, my new mic that I bought for the podcasts, which is better quality. Um, but I'm not really worried about anything else. And I'm not going to try and make it qualitative or um, as good as some of the U big YouTubers. I, 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 don't, I don't care. I haven't got time. Okay. So that's it. I'm off to the dentist. I've got a cracked tooth. Um, Alex on the fifth wrist started calling me the grumpy watchmaker, which is fun. That's probably my, 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 um, my thing. Um, I'm certainly the ugly one, bald one. The guy in Perth with uh, Independence, someone contacted me from Perth uh, regarding a little new little independent brand in Switzerland um, that they wanted to, friends of his in Switzerland wanted to commercialize. So that could be, could be interesting, it's quite cool. Uh, but I, and I'll be talking to a couple of other brands in Basel uh, to try and get a couple of more brands, a bit more variety here, basically. Anyway, check out my website. I have a few more uh, pre-owned watches on there as well. Could be interesting for some. There's some pretty nice ones. Uh, I have my first Rolex on the website, which I'm not really a, a, a fan of. I didn't think I'd ever do, but uh, a good friend wanted to sell one amongst a bunch of other watches. Have a look at what's on there and check back to see if I'm still here next week. Cheers.